The transfer portal window opens Monday, 12.01 a.m. It's open. That window begins. Let me tell you what's about to happen. No one's prepared for it. Let me try and get you as much prepared for it as you can be. It's tomorrow, Monday, December 5th, a day that will live in infamy. Two days before Pearl Harbor, as it turns out. For 45 days, this thing's going to be open. So it's not like it has been, where it's just open permanently and kids can go in and come out whenever they want to. It's been restructured. So it's a 45-day window. Then there's going to be another one post-spring. So you got to go in there in these 45 days if you want to move. Hundreds and hundreds of noteworthy names are about to enter this. Notice what I just said. Hundreds of noteworthy names. Thousands of names are going to go in. Hundreds of them that you recognize are going to go in. Not dozens. If you're a hardcore fan, hundreds. Uh, I'm not being hyperbolic there. It's going to be wild. Remember the difference as I'm trying to get you ready for this. There's a difference between legitimate portal entries and dipper entries. The legitimate entries are guys who truly intend to go elsewhere. Jeff Sims at Georgia Tech. I don't think he's going back to Georgia Tech. He fully intends to go elsewhere. Not all these kids fully intend to go elsewhere. Some of them are getting in the portal so they can renegotiate deals and they want to stay where they are. They just want to make more money. Those are portal dippers. Um, it's going to be a new term. It's just fresh because it's a new concept. Programs I'm watching starting tomorrow and moving forward. Auburn has head, a new head coach. Anybody who's got a new head coach. Colorado with Dion, um, Wisconsin with Luke Fickle. They're certainly not going to look at their roster and say, yep, just one or two players away. No, nah. they're going to hit that portal hard. Hugh Freeze at Auburn. They're going to hit that portal very hard. Cristobal at Miami will raid this thing. Napier at Florida. They will be a strong player in the transfer portal. Nick Saban is going to cherry pick as he pleases. And hopefully they have a little better hit rate this time around. Texas, I'm watching them. TCU, I'm watching. Penn State, producer Jesse, tends to think that Penn State can make some moves at receiver. But the players to watch, on top of the ones already in the portal, DJ Uyangalale, I mean, for example, that is a quarterback. Jesse, am I seeing this right, by the way? He is in the portal. He has made his intentions known to go in the portal. And I got nothing in my ear. Okay, so... I'm watching DJ because it seems imminent, if he's not already in there, that he will be in the portal. He is in the portal. Okay, so, so DJ is probably not going to be at Clemson next year. I don't think that's a shock to anyone because we saw what Kay Klubnik did last night. Where does he go? What kind of program is right for him? Is he a guy that needs to descend to the G5 level? Does he go play at Washington or Oregon or somewhere like that in the Pac-12 and just get closer to home? Drake May at North Carolina. Last night said all the right things after their game. He was asked about the portal, and he, he basically said what a prepared statement would have him say. I don't have any firsthand knowledge that he's going anywhere. There will be very little firsthand knowledge in this whole thing. I want to warn you about that, too. There's not going to be a ton of inside information to be had because the circles are so small, and things can change like that. You could wake up one morning having no intention to go in the portal. And if the right offer gets back-channeled to you, you're in the portal by sundown, and you never even knew it was coming. So if you didn't even know it was coming, how is, how's a reporter at the, at the Dallas newspaper supposed to know it's coming? How is someone at ESPN.com or 247sports.com supposed to know it's coming? So be careful of inside intel out there. Guys, thanks for watching Late Kick. Make sure to leave a comment. I love interacting with you. But most of all, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That's how we keep all of this free.